Well that's the last of last year's pumpkin defrosting. Got it defrosting over a strainer so any ex water can, excess water can be drained off because the soup I'm cooking today needs to be thick to be tasty and this is simply um, pumpkin and red pepper soup. So it shows what a food gap there would have been from the end of spring until the new growing season. It must have been horrendous when you relied on what you grew. So you only had your bottled, your pickled, your preserved. So we're lucky we got the freezer. Okay, um, I've been poorly. Um, I'm going down the plot. Um, I'm doing the puffer. Haven't been down for a week, unfortunately, because I've been signed off. And all I'm going to do is check for weeds and see everything's okay. See you there. Not doing much on the allotment today. We signed off last week. Um, so I haven't been up for weeds, so I've just come to check on the weeds. Everything's looking okay. No sign of the beans. What I have found is lots of nasturtium myself seeded from last year so I'm going to leave them under the bench to create a carpet of flowers and hopefully oh look there's another thistle keep the weeds down and I've just been taking the weeds of the paths until we decide what to do either replace three of the broad greens as um Three didn't survive the transfer. I'm going to give them a liquid feed before I go. Let's just go over here. Oh, some of the extra resurgions that are in the way, I'm plotting along the edge of my borders for companion parting because they tend to draw the black fire away. Um, so I'm going to try that for the first time. Um, have to keep an eye on them to make sure they don't want though. And behind here, I have just noticed. Let's take you out. Whoops, wrong way. My child is bolting. So I'm going to cut out the bolting bit, give those to the chickens, see if that works. If not, I'll have to re sew. So I'm just going to do that now. Just had to do a minute, and it was a minute bit of um, covering up the potatoes. Just started to peek through. No sign for the dwarf French. I'm sorry, dwarf Pelotti beans. My onions. My lettuce are doing alright, however, the um, look at the state of the garlic, you can barely see it. So, what I'm gonna do is look up this Epsom trick, see if I can save them because they look awful. Look at them. Sorry, sight. Got to do some hoeing. Raspberries are coming on beautifully. Well, as many of you know, they're rampant anyway. The inherited fruit. There's a black currant in there somewhere. There's a goosegog in there. With, oh, look. Can we see? Some gooseberries. And we've got to see what these are, really. Summer fruiting. I think they are. That's why we've left them 
whereas ours are autumn, that's where we cut them. So, a bit of hoeing to do, I'm not going to do that today, I'm going to take it easy. Um, I think that's it for today. Let's hope this second batch of broad beans that I've filled in the gaps with does the trick. They've been hardening off at home. Um, I've got one more thistle to get out and I've just spotted. And then I've cut down my chard that I'd bolted and the bolts there, beautiful leaves. I'm going to treat the chickens. So the chickens are going to get a treat when I get home. Afternoon everyone. Thursday afternoon. Afternoon everyone. I've got a couple of hours to myself. So I am going to grab myself a cuppa and plant up my border. This is where I put the annuals. And I'm going to dig a border this side too. Here are my candy stripe cosmos and some white cornflower that have been hardened off, ready to go in this border. Everything else is starting to look established in the garden. Still got some grass to grow back after the deluge of water this winter down here. But it's starting to look good in the bottom garden. I'm going to plant a couple of plants and then I'll let you know how it looks. Right, I've finished planting this up, just got to water it in. Now, because I have dogs um, in the garden, well, I only use organic slug pellets if I absolutely have to at the lot, but in the garden, I use oyster shell. If I, as long as I'm very liberal with it, it seems to work. I'm not saying it's 100%, but it seems to work. And this is what it looks like. And this is just from a poultry feed supply, you give oyster shell to chickens so they can get it in their gullet to grind up and digest food. And that is what I use in the garden where animals might come to harm. And the only reason it's a deterrent is slugs hate to crawl over anything sharp. So give it a go, see if it works for you. Um, I've been using this method for about three years in my pots and delicate borders and it seems to work as long as you live well. Okay. See you in a minute.
Oh, it's noisy it outside. Oi, why are you all up, lady? Upside down, you can give us more for them. Why, no, I did. You're gonna leave me here for a while. That's it, you dig up, lady. What are you up, Whoa, you be. You be careful when you put them in your hands. Oh, hello, Bill. You here too? I seem to go to Australia now, I must have got my food in the ground. Yeah, I'm a bit rough, but I've got my food in the ground. And uh, it's not all bad here, it's quite a bad sport. Uh, she's a bit rough for the old trail though. Who's coming next? Oh, it's Helen. Oh, oh hello. Hello Bill, hello Dave. Nice to see you all. Yeah, I'm not sure about that dog coming through there. 